What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's winter outfits video. 12 looks styling three different winter coats. Let's jump right in. Look number one, we're starting off with a pair of light colored jeans. These are from H&M and then I'm wearing a pair of one of my favorite boots in the fall winter season. These are Doc Martens. I've had those for about three, four years. Really nice cognac leather color and a really interesting pattern. It's like a, a, a creative broguing on the toe there. Up top, starting a color scheme of those earth tones, we've got a tan colored turtleneck from H&M and then I'm taking just the last little bit of tag off as I do so often of this beautiful green Uniqlo jacket that is seamless, really warm and a really nice sleek piece that is a nice update to what you usually have as a puffer jacket in your closet. Green beanie for a nice earth colored first look for today. For the second look, we're starting off with a pair of tech pants. These are from Hill City. So they're a little bit on the lighter side. I would definitely recommend that not only with this look, but with all of the looks that you see today, you wear some heat tech underneath, something that keeps you warm and makes sure that you have your base layer covered. And up top, I'm wearing a simple t-shirt and then a hoodie on top of that, which is also from, from Hill City actually. On my feet, a pair of white high top coach sneakers that I've had for a few years now as well. And then a gray beanie, also from Hill City, a largely Hill City look, but finishing it off with that unique clothes jacket. And just to show you that you don't have to wear an all earth tone outfit when you wear a green statement jacket like this one from Uniqlo. For look number three, we are definitely going back into that earth tone range though. So we got a pair of H&M chinos and on my feet, my Ankari Flores split toe boots in a dark brown suede. Absolutely love those shoes. They're rugged enough, but still nice and clean. And this is definitely uh, another reminder, put something on underneath. I'm just doing this for the purposes of this video to, um, you know, not die of a heat stroke in the studio. But we've got a cable knit sweater also from H&M. Then we got a beanie from Zara and that Uniqlo jacket a third time for a completely earth toned look in this case, a little bit more put together than the first one, a little bit less casual, a little bit more on the preppy side. For look number four, we've got uh, something a little bit more street. Now to kind of stand in harsh contrast with that. We are starting off with an achromatic base for the outfit as we did with the second look. We got some distressed black skinny jeans from Zara with a chain detail. We've got my Ankari Flores Sunday skater sneakers and a North Face long sleeve with that Uniqlo jacket up top. And then to complete that achromatic base, we got a gray scarf, obviously to all of these looks, but also add cold winter accessories as you see fit. This is more to give you a little bit of style inspiration. Overall, make sure that you make these really, really warm, please. Look number five, we're actually going into a different realm now and we've got the same jeans, but in a light colored um, from H&M. So distress, a little ripped chain, paint splatter. Up top, we got a nice knit sweater from Zara. And then we've got my navy suede Ankari Flores Chelsea boots. I absolutely love those. Don't wear them all too often, but I'm glad when I get them out that they just look on point. And here we've got a double breasted coat that I actually got a little bit oversized from H&M and black leather gloves for a really serious uh, look. But you know, don't take yourself too seriously. But this is the first look that we've had with this beautiful navy double breasted trench coat. Overcoat, not a trench coat. Look number six, we're starting off with a pair of gray jeans that are from Express. Um, recently picked those up, actually really, really like the fit. When you turn those over, you see that you have a little bit of black on the, um, the inside, uh, which I actually think is a nice styling detail if you choose to play with it. These boots are from RTA, haven't worn them in a while. Absolutely fell in love with them when I saw them at Barney's once and spent a fortune on these. So I don't quite wear them enough for how much money I spent on them, to be honest. But I do love them when I do wear them. They're uh, a great color, kind of like a washed out painted look. And I really like those leather sleeves that you almost slip into with your feet. But enough about the shoes. Moving on to the upper half with this gray turtleneck. And then I'm layering that underneath this uh, thicker flannel shirt jacket from H&M that's not only gray in there, but also also adds in a little bit of warmth to the outfit. There's a little bit of a brown tone, a little bit of a tan tone in there. Um, then we've got a beanie and the same coat again. So I kept everything in the 
gray and black range and then kind of just went with the navy coat as um, the cherry on top. It's not going to add a lot of um, color to the outfit, but it is a little bit more interesting than a black coat. For look number seven, we're going to try and make it a little bit more interesting. And uh, for that, we use a pair of plaid Zara pants and a golden colored H&M sweater. I really like both the pieces. They're definitely both more on the statement side of things. So combining them is maybe a little bit of a stretch, but I'm trying to tone it back down with a pair of white high top sneakers. The ones that you saw before, these are from Coach, just as a reminder. Then we've got the coat and then to really embrace the yellow, I uh, chose to wear this Express beanie, which I'm not sure was the best choice. They don't quite match up perfectly. I think in the lighting in the studio, it looked a little bit more matching. So maybe go for something a little bit more neutral and leave the color pop to the sweater in this case. If by now you're thinking, okay, these aren't really cold winter outfits, we have a video for that that we shot last year, so make sure to check that one out. This is more style focused. Look number eight, we've got a pair of white H&M jeans that I, I mean, I like wearing white in the winter. I know it's not the most common thing, but winter whites and overall a really nice light color scheme as you see me create here is something I love going for in the winter. It'll make you stand out. It looks really classy and, and just sophisticated in my opinion. And to talk about the outfit more, we've got a cream colored scotch and soda turtleneck as well as the Zara Chelsea boots. The Chelsea boots, I won't lie, are already back at the Zara store. They were just not super comfortable, but they looked really clean. So I wanted to give them a try. But this light colored look, I finished off with that same navy double breasted overcoat that I think is a nice contrast. But like I said, we have a really nice and light base for the outfit, which is a cool look you, you can go for this winter. For look number nine, we've got the same pants on from the first look and we're actually putting on those Zara boots once again. Really, I mean, they looked so good. Maybe I should get them again. I don't know. They were just not comfortable and really hard to get in and out of. I don't, I don't think this video is doing it justice. So here I'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath and we're moving on to the last jacket that we've got for today. And that's the Zara Shearling uh, trucker jacket. So it adds a lot of warmth, but it also is a little thick. So you can't wear too much underneath. That is why uh, I just have the t-shirt underneath here. If you do zip it up and maybe are wearing heat tech underneath, I think it's going to be fine but this might not be the best look for walking around an entire day in the freezing cold. For look number 10, we're back in the uh, distressed Zara skinny jeans and a black, and then we're wearing one of my favorite Doc Martens I ever owned. These, um, they're, I think they're 1960s, but they're kind of a special version of them um, with that jagged sole. All black, but with the tan contrast, and that's kind of what we're going for with this outfit. I'm gonna go with an all black base using this black turtleneck that may or may not be from H&M, Zara, Uniqlo, I don't know right now off the top of my head. But then we're introducing the, those um, earth tones with that brown beanie and obviously the jacket that we're currently styling. For I think when, what we've seen so far, this is my favorite look that I styled and, and I'm absolutely in love with this. Personally, I hope you guys are too. <laughs> Look number 11, we've got my my cargo pants, the ones I designed for uh, Design Now a little while back. Sadly, they're not available anymore, but we've got cargo pants and a denim shirt for a look that is honestly pretty similar to the one that we just looked at, but it's the more elegant, the more sophisticated, more put together version of it. So we got the um, brown espresso split toes. Once again, um, just a little call out on how I tie them. I really like going around the back of the shoe. I think it's a really nice touch, not only to shorten the laces, but just as an overall aesthetic choice. And I, as soon as we throw the shearling back on, we see the look coming together. This time we have a little blue in there and you can see it's a little bit more put together than the, the first look with the t-shirt simply, but it's still not all that crazy. Last but not least, we're gonna try and have a little bit more fun. And that fun starts with light colored jeans, for one, that are from H&M. I really like how the way H&M jeans fit, to be honest. And then this uh, color block Zara sweater up top, then the Ankari Floor Saturday sneakers in our debossed suede for that corduroy look. And lastly, the jacket and a gray beanie that we saw towards the beginning of the video as well. So we're playing off of cream colors, some gray, some brown, for a really nice, I think, really nice color combination overall. That I love that sweater and that's what inspired all of that. But that is about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon with the next one. Bye.